Firstly, this inquiry is not about me. I have already established the illegality of the actions of the Scottish Government in the Court of Session, and I have been acquitted of all criminal charges by jury in the highest court in the land. It was the Government who were found to have been acted unlawfully, unfairly and tainted by apparent bias. In this inquiry, it is the Scottish Government, a Government which has already admitted to behaving unlawfully, who are under examination. Secondly, my interest in assisting this inquiry is out of respect for our Parliament. I watched in astonishment on Wednesday when the First Minister of Scotland, the First Minister of Scotland, used a COVID press conference, a COVID press conference, to effectively question the result of a jury. Still, I said nothing. Well, today that changes. I have no incentive or advantage in revisiting the hurt and shock of the last three years from a personal perspective. For two years and six months, this has been a nightmare. In fact, I have every desire to move on, to turn the page, to resist talking yet again about a series of events which have been amongst us the most wounding that any person can face. But the reason I am here today is because we can't turn that page nor move on until the decision-making which is undermining the system of government in Scotland is addressed. Collectively, these events shine a light <clears throat> on a government whose actions are no longer true to the principles of openness, accountability and transparency, which are the core principles on which this Scottish Parliament was founded. The government acted illegally, but somehow nobody is to blame. Delay and obstruction in making evidence available. A committee has been asked to do its job, with both hands tied behind its back and a blindfold on. Some people say that the <coughs> failures of these institutions, the blurring of the boundaries between party, government and prosecution service, mean that Scotland is in danger of becoming a failed state. I disagree. The Scottish civil servant hasn't failed. Its leadership has failed. The Crown Office hasn't failed. Its leadership has failed. Scotland hasn't failed. Its leadership has failed. The pattern is undeniable. The government refused to hand over documentation in the civil case. It required a commission to extract it from them. The government ignored the provisions of a search warrant in the criminal case, and despite the impact on the administration of justice, still withheld key documents which should have been put before the jury. This committee has been blocked and tackled at every turn with calculated and deliberate suppression of key evidence.